Hello friends, this is Zabaiske beginner tutorial series number 21 and this 21 say, part we are going to learn this about this Zabaiske basic type of event of Zabaiske so there is have so a lot of basic types event so I'm just going to highlight of some of this popular event which is basics and they have also some advanced event we will learn in the later videos about it so which is I'm going to be using the fastest click event so for this click event using it for Ethios light in Zabaiske which is one click and then the next one is double click it was used for the one day bell click for the double click function call and this all of this click was basically work for this calling to the function over there and the right click it was used for the one context menu and for the mouse over it means when you are entering mouse somewhere so there will be the call so this is used for the right for one mouse enter and for the mouse out it's also like the same this is which is one mouse out when you out and the mouse down when you have pressed a mouse it will be what basically using for the like click movement and then we have this one mouse up so this mouse up it will be work for this one mouse up. when you have pressed something and you have just left your mouse center button then it will be called the event and then the, we have the key press so it will work for the keyboard whenever you're writing something on your keyboard then the call event will be called and for this it was rated is one key press and for this key up this is for also the same whenever you are pressing a key and left it it will be key up and then the event will be called and this is written by this one key up and this load load is used for the unload so when we have load some page is loaded then the event will be called and this is unload also the very little bit of this is the same difference of when you are closing your window or your website is closing it then it will be event the call then the one resize so which is when you are going to resizing your window then it will be work and this is right for the one resize so this is the basic event i'm going to explain that into this video and this i'm going to tell you that the practical about it so let's start this video okay, here you can see i've opened my visual code studio now i need to create a file one over js folder and which is the file name is event.js which is basic event.js file now save this file and just hide up this or left side of window over here now just go to our okay let me hide this one also so that you will not get in confusion about this so we need to connect our basic dot event dot says file so let me connect it one of our index dot html file so this is connect successfully and there we can see that we are watching the live page one our browser over here now we need to write an alert message one over this file so i'm writing an alert message so inside of it i'm just going to writing a string over here so I'm writing that hello put prime okay now save this file now you can see it was playing that there we can see the hello this code prime this was successfully there is it was working over here so now we need to call them using that function over here so I'm just copying this from here and cut it over there now I'm just going to take a function over here so it is function and I'm going to write in here the inbuilt function which is hello hello is inbuilt function and then inside of it we're going to write in this message so now here if we call this function and hello the function will be called here and there you can see this function is automatically working here because we have called using that hello over there so now I don't want to call this function default we want to call using event so there you can see nothing is working over there now just back to our index.html file now i'm going to take a button over here so i'm just taking a button so i can take a little bit of break over here so that it can be separate them so let me add a break so i have taken three times of break so now it will be perfect now i'm taking a button over here and then here i'm writing here this click me click like me and this is we can see that the button is displayed over here and then we are going to call the function inside of this button so for this button which is we are going to using first of all that is click function and this is writing where there is one click and then inside of this you have to take the equal and double quotation then you have to call the function name so this is hello function we have make it now save this file now just this is the one click function now click on to the click me button and you can see the function is called successfully now click it again you can see the button function is called successfully over there 
okay now i think you will have to very little bit of desktop so for watching that the confirm button over there so let me make it okay now you can see the perfectly the okay button is displaying over here okay now this is we have called this for one click now we are going to use it for the double click so this is double click is very simple that after this one we need to add here the dvl now save it and there you can see we have clicked this button nothing is working but when you do double click on this button the event will be called then double click the event is calling over and this is the call the event is very smooth there which is trigger automatically and this immediately it was trigger everything over there so now we are going to using for this our right click of our mouse so here for this we need to write here this one context menu so this is one context menu and save it so when you click on your this button right so this will be your right click this means your mouse right side you have to click it then the event will be called if i click on the right left side of it nothing is working over there so just click on to this right and this will be called successfully now here we are going to do that the same thing that and the one that is mouse over when we will be take this mouse it will be even the call so now let me remove it over here and just we are going to write in here this one mouse enter now save it okay now when we just taking this amount this if there is nothing is working but when we are taking this mouse on this button this event was called and you can see that the button is perfectly working over there now this is the another thing that is when we are taking this in our enter of this button the mouse enter is working the mouse out is the same way when you do that mouse out so this is right one mouse out and save this file so we take it there is no call no event is calling now just left the mouse there you can see the event is called this is the same this is very different and the very different type this is very various of this outside and just out of this mouse it will be called now the mouse down mouse down will see also will be here like something clicking version when we are using that one clicks the mouse down will be like the same way so for this mouse down this is right for the one mouse down and save this file there you can see just click up this button it means i have down this mouse now you can see it was event is called now for the another one that is one mouse up it means when we just press down and then we just left the mouse then the event will be called so i'm just clicking over there i'm just pressing here the clicking over here nothing is working but just i need to just left my mouse click and the event was called you can see that it was perfectly triggered and just press down and press up so then you can see that it is perfectly working over there so now we are going to do for this next step which is the key press for the keyboard button for the keyboard event for keyboard event it was rated for the one key press so one key press and save it so i'm just writing here this i'm just pressing my keyboard but nothing is working there was a mistake over there this one key press only work when you have the form or you have this tag on your body section so i'm just going to copy this one from here to in our body section just paste it over here and this okay i have it quotation over there now let me remove this one now i'm just hiding this button so that you will never get any confusion over there so i just need to make it comment so that you will not get the confusion so there you can see we are the plane on there now i'm writing in my keyboard over there okay so here i have write it on there so i need to back to that window page and write here your keyboard anything this key press is perfectly working so i'm writing my keyboard and this was working for this now there's another one that is key up so it means when you have up your keyword so this will be work for the perfectly so this instead of key press we need to write here this one key up and save this so now i just move on our browser and press a key nothing is working just i just left it and it was work there you can see the event was successfully triggered so now the end of one that is for the window resize it's also work for our window this body tag over there so for this we have this one resize one resize and save this now we are going to resizing this i'm just taking this window from here you can see that the event was called successfully i'm just going to take little bit of more in wide skin and i'm just going to make the resize skin the event was successfully called 
so this is how you when you are going to windows recharging this is windows resizing this event is called perfectly so now we are going to do the scrolling over here this is scrolling also work in a button or where you have the overflow there will be work or text and if you have this on your body section this will be work perfectly there also so now i'm just going to add here this and start up one resize so this is one scroll now save it now there you can see i'm just scrolling but nothing is working so we need some text over here so it will be need to be a scroll bar when we have the scroll bar on the right side then it will be work so i'm writing a p tag and inside of it i'm going to take some lorem ipsum text so i'm going to take it lorem around to 700 watt and press enter now save this file there you can see it was displayed now when i scrolling over it this event is called and scrolling again the event is called so this is basically how it's work but they have this some another which is load and unload this is why different by default it will be not work this working the system is a little bit of different now we'll be do the practical in the later part of this videos and when we have some like work for the load and unload then we will be do that perform for the load and unload and this is not only the basic event that i have written and i have to do the practical there have some no lot of new event is add the come to this in javascript series so we will be do the practical in later part by part when we need that and we'll be do the practical over there so i hope you understand that all of this javascript basic event so if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this tutorial please like on it and share it with your friends so that they can also learn about the javascript how it's worked the basic event so if you're interested to get more tutorials just like this so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us